Scott, or Opa, of Opa's Diecast Restorations, has been fighting some medical issues and hasn't been doing videos lately. His fellow members of the Diecast International Builders are hosting a We Miss You Opa build, and we certainly do miss him. He's the undisputed king of Tootsie Toys. He, if you haven't seen his builds, he has done some amazing builds. And some of those are just these Tootsie Toys that he draws something out of them. I chose this one to do for this build. You see those eyes on the hood? That kind of chose the direction I was going to go with this little guy. This is a Tootsie Toy runabout from 1974. I decided I wanted to jack it up a little bit higher. I wanted to clean it off and yet do something with those eyes on the hood, or at least with those in mind. So I had a set of green light wheels that I wanted to throw on here. There you see I'm uh, test fitting them. You did see the JB Weld, uh, or you will see the JB Weld come out in this build. Once I had those tacked down, the axle tubes tacked down and in place, what better excuse than to get out the JB Weld to use it to really keep them in place? And if, if, if you've never held a Tootsie toy in your hand, you don't know how rough these darn little castings are. Some of them are better than others. And this one has some unique little issues to it. They aren't very precise is probably the right term for it. Like the engine in the back, on one side of the engine, it's a little different than on the other side of the engine. It's not even. The rear axle area, on one side, the, the casting itself kind of fills in a chunk of that wheel well. And on the other side, it's a very well-defined axle piece of frame separate from the body. So I figured there was no harm in slapping some JB Weld down here. I did it neatly. <laughs> did it kind of smoothly. Busted out the Krylon Color Master Gloss Sun Yellow because I wanted this to be cheerful. And nothing screams that than gloss sun yellow. <laughs> and well, it, it goes with what I end up throwing on here in just a minute. Now I wanted to make the, the axle area kind of <laughs> disappear in a way. So I painted that black. And again, that's where like some of the differences under the body under those axle frame areas come into play. And then those eyes on the hood, yeah, I made up a little tiny set of moon eyes to throw on there. It, it almost looked like that's what Tootsie Toy, I don't know if they had that in mind or not. With those eyes they drew on there, on the original casting, they were not identical to moon eyes. And maybe they were just trying to do bug eyes of some kind. But when I see eyes on a car, I think moon eyes. So I had to do the decal in two parts. I did the white base, you know, the white toner base. And then I did the separate set of eyes to go over that. The uh, eyes are on clear. You know, the white toner portion is on clear decal paper too, for that matter. But uh, the eyes then go over that and you see the white through it. And man, lining up decals is a pain. <laughs> I did file down and pretty much clean off those original eyes. I considered for a very brief second just painting those in. And I quickly realized that was going to be way beyond my skill set. So decals was the next best thing I could do to get there. And so it's kind of a little moon runabout. And I do like the idea of the eyes on it. I didn't want to just get rid of the eyes. And I could see Opa just smiling at that, getting a kick out of that. Because, you know, that's Opa. He just, 
you got to watch his videos, both both of his diecast channel and his old workshop channel. Uh, they're just fun, and he's such a genuine person that it's you can't help but smile watching his videos. So I did paint in some detail in the back. I didn't get too carried away in the engine compartment. Just a tiny bit, did tail lights, painted the, the hitch chrome, did spot headlights on there. Then I hit it with the clear gloss Minwax, fast drying poly. And, you know, then I decided, well, the green light wheels were a little too shiny. So I hit them with some Nolan oil to just kind of uh, make them look a little less bright. I wanted to take the tires off of there. These are old green light wheels. These things are not soft by any stretch of the imagination. So I wasn't going to be able to get them off without destroying them. So I just left them on when I painted the wheels. And then it's just a matter of putting it back together. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's not much to put together. I thought about painting that roof rack area black. And then I thought against it. I thought about putting a decal up there, went against that. Because these are freaking Tootsie toys. And they're a very basic toy. And they're just so darn cute. You know, I, I, I didn't want to go for like heavy detail on this. I wanted just a little bit of detail to sharpen it up a little bit. Make it something that Opa might get a smile out of. And... Uh, you know, it just cracks me up. So there you see it. There you see the eyes again. And I, like I said, it's rough on one side of the cab as well. And the other door is smooth. So this is where it ended up. And it's weird. I'm like so happy with this stupid little thing because, you know, I have other builds that are a lot more involved than this one. And yet this one just makes me happy. It I can't help but smile when I look at this silly little thing. And I hope you do too. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out all of the other people participating in this build. Be sure and check out Opa's channel. And uh, as he's uh, fighting some health issues, you know, definitely uh, he's a very good man. And keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there. Catch you in the next one.